are the top 10 signs to know whether or not your heart needs a little bit of love and if nutrition could be of support to you. To be clear, these are the top 10 things that I see in my clients that tell me right away, check mark, let's look after the heart. Number one, have you ever had a heart attack? I think that's pretty obvious, but that should be one of the ways. Number two may surprise you. Ever had a stroke? Yep. Is there a history of heart disease or stroke in your family? Hands up. Put a check mark every time you get a yes for any of these. Do you, did somebody tell you you have atherosclerosis? That's a really big word that sometimes feels like a hard word to pronounce. That is code for plaque buildup or the thickening of arteries or the narrowing of your arteries. And it's not that the arteries, <laughs> the arteries are thickening because of the plaque deposits. The plaque deposits are called atherosclerosis. I think you're a smart cookie. I'm not going to dumb things down. Sorry. Okay. That's number four. Number five, do you have high or low blood pressure? Yeah. Cholesterol issues, aneurysms, mm -hmm. aneurysms um, absolutely have a vascular component to them and blood related, of course. Do you have blood clotting issues? And it can go either way. Do you clot a lot quite readily? Do you not clot very well? Do you struggle with fatigue? It's a big one, actually. And it can... Uh, have a, quite uh, an impact on your cardiovascular system? And do you have type 2 diabetes or a metabolic syndrome? Yeah. Wait a second, Luca. We're talking about the heart. Yes. Do you know that for those who are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, your risk of developing cardiovascular disease increases? And it's because blood sugar imbalances, which is very clearly at the root of type 2 diabetes, is also at the root of most chronic conditions having to do with cardiovascular system. Yeah, blood sugar issues drive cardio issues. Blood sugar issues drive that plaque buildup. Blood sugar issues drive heart disease and cardiovascular troubles and fatigue actually. So those are the top 10 ways. So I've got more, of course I've got more. Uh, before I get into the more, if you're watching the shorter version of these top 10 ways, then get the to the Good Food Network is all I'm going to say. And there's a link wherever you're watching this to join us or just request it and I'll send it to you. 